In order to stop telogen influvium, it's wise to know more about it, so that you can effectively manage its triggers. In today's video, we will be explaining the basics of what telogen influvium is, as well as how the process itself occurs. They say that knowledge is power, right? So arming yourself with information about telogen influvium will give you the ability to end it and take back control of your hair health. So, what is telogen effluvium exactly? Aside from being difficult to pronounce, it is also often mistaken for some sort of scientific terminology that pertains to something or other. Many people have never even heard of telogen effluvium, let alone know what it means. Therefore, to better understand TE, let's take a closer look at your hair's follicles growth cycle, as this is the aspect of your biology that is greatly affected by telogen effluvium. Firstly, it's important to know that the hair growth cycle has three phases. Anagen. This is the growth phase. During this phase, your hair will look healthy and full, as well as nourished, given that it is growing at a rate of around half an inch per month. Under normal circumstances, this phase lasts anywhere between 2 to 8 years, and roughly 85% to 90% of your scalp's 100,000 hair follicles will be in the anagen phase at any one time. Catagen. This is the transitional phase. This phase only lasts for around two to four weeks under normal circumstances, though it is an extremely important step in new hair growth. During this time, your hair will actually shrink in size and it will disconnect from the blood supply. At this point, a new hair follicle will begin to grow from under your scalp. Approximately 5% of hair follicles are in the catagen phase at any one time. Telogen. This is the resting phase. Now, new hair growth happens at this point, as the follicles are simply waiting to emerge from the scalp. During this phase, your hair follicle is at its weakest, and it can easily be pulled out of your scalp. This phase will typically last for about three months, and will end when your existing hair follicles fall out and makes way for a new one. Now that we've gone over the various hair growth phases, let's discuss how telogen effluvium affects its sufferer's rate of new hair growth and can lead to shedding. Telogen effluvium indicates that there is an outflow of hair that is in the telogen phase. Think of it as your locks getting so tired from the stresses that they suddenly have to deal with that they simply choose to die and fall out. A number of stresses can bring this about, such as a severe shock to the body or extreme trauma, a car wreck, breakup, death of a loved one, extreme dieting, and even certain medications. Essentially, any type of shock to the body can bring on an onset of telogen effluvium. The main problem with telogen effluvium is that it is still a poorly defined condition. As mentioned before, very little research has been done on the subject, hence all of the confusion that surrounds it. For example, take one of our students' particular cases. He had to go to seven dermatologists before anyone could diagnose him correctly, and that's because he brought it up and practically self-diagnosed himself. It might seem unbelievable that, even in this day and age, when medical breakthroughs are happening every day, that dermatologists are still quite uneducated about something as simple as hair health conditions. In essence, though, telogen effluvium happens when there is a change in the number of hair follicles growing hair. In a normal scalp that isn't affected by telogen effluvium, there are approximately 100,000 hair follicles in your scalp and 10% of those follicles are in the telogen phase, while 1% of those hairs are in the last days of its phase. Therefore, it is perfectly normal to shed between 50 to 100 hairs a day. You may not even notice these hairs as they come out throughout the day. However, in cases that involve telogen effluvium, a significant percentage of your hair follicles in the anagen phase suddenly switch to the telogen phase. This situation might involve more than 50% of the growing hair follicles. So after anywhere from a few months to six months, when the telogen hairs reach the end of their phase, you will suddenly notice a large portion of your hair falling out without warning. Telogen effluvium can be a rather traumatic occurrence, mainly because the person afflicted will find themselves losing handfuls of hair all at once. For an effective protocol for reversing the shedding, we recommend you check out our website at naturecrazy.com, where you'll find effective internal and external routines that you should be utilizing. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just send us a message. Thanks again, and remember, just be natural. Thank you.